So here we have some questions on the different groups or families of elements. So let's see what we can come up with. Here's a periodic table we can use just to illustrate these different uh, families or groups. So which ones are the most readily oxidized elements? If they're the most readily oxidized elements, that means they're going to lose electrons pretty easily. So which ones are going to lose electrons pretty easily? Well, we know we got to be in the metals. So that eliminates a number of options. But the ones that are going to most easily lose the electrons are going to be your group ones. These are your alkali metals. This is choice B. So we'll call this, this is choice B. These are your alkali metals. These are the ones that become plus one charge, Li plus, Na plus, because they lose that S1 electron to jump down to the previous noble gas in terms of its electron configuration. So it's pretty easy for those for it to lose that electron relative to the other elements. Certainly group two, which are your alkaline earth metals, they can lose electrons, usually two, but typically it's easier for you to just lose one electron than to lose two. And so the elements in group one in the alkali metals are typically going to be the most easily or readily oxidized elements as a result. Which one have the highest first ionization energies of the elements in the respective rows? So now we're kind of going to the opposite end, which is which one uh, would it be the, which, which elements is it the hardest to remove their electrons? Which has the highest electron, uh, sorry, highest ionization energy, the most energy required to remove that electron? And so we're going to swing now to the other side of the table into our nonmetals because nonmetals don't want to lose electrons. They either want to gain electrons or in this case, they don't want to lose anything at all. Think of your noble gases. So this is going to be choice D. Think of your noble gases, which is this group here. They are in a noble gas configuration, right? By definition. So they are happy to be where they are. So they don't want to lose or gain any electrons. So to rip away an electron will require a ton of energy. And so they're going to have the highest for ionization energy. Yes, the halogens, which would be choice C, they are pretty high too, because they want to gain an electron to become isoelectronic with their noble gases, but not as high. I mean, you can, it's still hard to do, but you can still remove them a little bit more with a little less energy than a noble gas, which really doesn't want to lose their electron. So we get D. Which are the radioactive elements? So once you get past bismuth, Usually including bismuth, there's some debate on that, but um, bismuth and beyond are typically going to be seen as radioactive elements. And so anything beyond 83 will be radioactive. And we can see the actinides, which are down here, are going to be the ones that are uh, going to be radioactive, every single one. So we get choice E. Every isotope beyond bismuth is going to be radioactive. So we know, you know, you can find other elements less than bismuth that are radioactive, but you can also at least find one isotope in most circumstances, that is going to be uh, not radioactive. So uh, in that case, we know that this is going to have to be E, the actinides, that's this period here, or this, this family, I guess you can call them, that uh, are where you fill your F electrons. These are going to be the radioactive elements in this set of choices. Which are the most electronegative of the elements? So again, we're going to swing to the right side of the table because that's where our most electronegative elements are going to be, the ones that really want to attract electrons. So have that highest tendency to try to grab or attract electrons. Now here, the trend is it gets uh, the electronegativity increases as you go to the right, except noble gases, for the same reason that we discussed in number 17, are not going to have a high electronegativity at all. They don't want to attract electrons. They are happy where they are. So... We're going to go to the group over and our noble gas, our, our halogens, these ones are going to really want to grab an electron. In fact, fluorine has the highest electronegativity out of all the elements because they really want to gain that last electron to be isoelectronic with noble gases. So therefore, 19 would be choice C. And th those would be our answers.